Welcome to series four, brand new series to celebrate the mop top, the golden years we're going to call it, Blonde Ambition Tour. <laughs> you can now call me Spider or Blade. That's what I'm now known as. So we're going to start this series off in a similar fashion to the first season. We're going to revisit the curries and we're going to do a slightly hotter one than a do piazza. We're going to do a Rogan Josh, which is using lots of tomatoes and things and purees. It's, it's good. So it's really easy. Obviously you need that base curry that we did in back in on episode one of the last series. So I'll put a link in the description again, check that out. Um, just give this book another plug because this recipe is pretty much from here. Um, I have tweaked it slightly, but not much. I mean, it's sticking true to this recipe, really. Great book. Dan Toombs, top man, curry guy, the curry guy. He's the curry guy. Oh yeah. So, we're obviously still in lockdown. Hopefully by the time this goes out, we might be out, but I doubt it. So, as the weather's getting quite nice now, I think we should do some more summery sort of dishes. Show you a few of my marinades and things. That's all to come in this season. And obviously, send me any requests. I'm open to requests. So I'll do anything you want. Apart from baking. Don't really like baking. Did make some chocolate brownies today. I don't know what they're going to be like. Going to test them later. But that's for another video. Can't really talk about it here for legal reasons. Right, so let's crack on with this. Right, so stand here so we can get the old graphic up. Right, so what do we need for this? We need the base curry sauce, so about 500 ml. This is for two people, remember? So, I mean, what, you should have frozen down portion sizes. We always go a little bit more because we like it a little bit saucier, but you can do it however you like. Um, so you need that. You need spices wise, you need a tablespoon of paprika, half a teaspoon of chili, so that's going to go in first with some tomato puree. And then we need our mixed powder, hopefully you've made that. I did show you a little recipe for that, so check that out. Come on folks, get back to it. We need two and a half tablespoons of that and half a tablespoon of cumin. So that's going to be our next stage of spices that go into the pan. Um, I'm going to start off with some onions and a bit of garlic. Uh, what else? Tomato puree. I think I'm going to use some tin tomatoes actually. I do like probably half a tin. Not too much. You don't want to overpower it, but I just like it to be a bit more tomato and saucy. But, right, so let's crack on. So, you need an onion. Top and tail it. We're just going to slice this. Thinly slice it. Get that skin off. Finely sliced. This is how I like to slice my onions. Right. I mean, you don't have to do it in half. It's up to you. I mean, if you find it easier slicing it whole, I mean, I don't know whoever who does, but. You're a loon if you do, but if you do, then just do that. I'm not going to judge you. So, I'm also going to put half a chilli in. It's a little bit dangerous, this, but I like living on the edge. Right. So, So the oil's on, what we're going to do is fry up these onions and the garlic. So you need a garlic paste again, we spoke about it before. Um, so it's probably for this, I mean I've done more because I'm cooking other things with it. I've used it for my bargees as well, uh, which I'm not going to show you. But anyway, you probably need probably three cloves of garlic I'd say. A um, little bit of ginger, a little inch of ginger. Grind it up like normally into a paste like this. The onions are going to go in first, and the chilies. Get those in. It's a nice 
sizzle in. Right, now we're going to go in with the ginger. So, you want about a tablespoon of this, really. So that's going in. And then we're going to go in early doors with the paprika and the half and the chilli. Then you need a cup of tomato puree. So that's going to go in here now. We've got to get this really hot now because we, what we want is to, for this to caramelise. So that's going to go in. Okay, so we've got those bits in. Now tomato puree's in. We're not going to wait and we're just going to go in, leave this just to sizzle a little bit. We want this to get really hot. I'm just going to use the last of that up. So I'm just going to get myself a spatula and we're going to have a look at what this is. How is this looking? Looking good, that. So we got that in. Now we're going to go in with a little bit of base sauce. About half of it. Now we're just going to give this one mix. Then we don't want to touch it now. We want this to really caramelise up. We want this to bubble and sizzle. And it's going to stick to the sides. That's what we kind of want. Just occasionally, just nursing it back in. So, now we're going to go in with these spices, the other spices. So we've got the mixed curry powder stuff and we've got the cumin. So that's going to go in. Just going to mix that together. As you can see, this is really coming together now. It's quite a dry, drier curry, this. So now we're going to get ready with our chicken. Now the chicken, for the chicken, I just, it's that same way of cooking it that I did it before. I've, this time I've actually got a roast chicken, so I just cooked that up yesterday. So we are just going to use that. The same sort of thing, just crispy up. We're going to use a little bit of the leg, but not too much. Right, I'll do. Just going to get rid of a bit of that skin. Just going to break this up, really. So we're now going to go in with the rest of this curry sauce. And the chicken. We've actually done, to be honest. Half a tin of Tommy's. Just going to go for a bit of the juice, actually, I think. These are plum tomatoes. Couldn't get chopped. Just going to go in with one whole one of those and a little bit of the juice. Looking good, that. Right. So we give that all a stir. And what I want to do is sort of flatten it down to the side so it really starts to... We really want it to caramelise up. That's what, that's what we're trying to do. Okay. Going to try this. Mm, pretty good. Now this is virtually done now. So what we want to do at the end, when it gets to this sort of stage, is put about a tablespoon of yogurt in, or a table, cut the tablespoons. and some coriander. Just mix that through. Some coriander from the garden. And then you want to go in with some coriander. 
little bit more than that would be nice, but I'm getting a bit low, so. So this now is done. So that's pretty much it. See, it's so easy. Once you've got that base curry, it's so easy. You can experiment and you can just get these beautiful curries that you would normally have to order. And I know we can't, we're, we're struggling to order Indians at the moment, I expect, some of you. I expect the ones that open aren't great. I know the one near me in Wimborne is shut, one of the best ones around. They don't do delivery, so it's no business for them. So get cooking. It's easy. You've just seen how easy this is. Once you've got that base sauce and you've got some spices, go out and buy yourself a load of spices. Um, you need to get yourself paprika, all the stuff I mentioned, cumin, um, coriander seeds. Just get an array of that stuff. You can just make curries whenever you want and it's just incredible. Right. Great. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I will show you my bargies, my naan breads and my flatbreads that I'm going to have for this dinner soon. But next time, we're definitely going to concentrate on some barbecue stuff. It's going to be hot this weekend. I want to get out in the barbecue. I'm going to show you some more marinades that I do. Yeah, let's do this. Thank you. Thanks for watching. And uh, is it that side? I always forget think check out the instagram subscribe if you can see you soon